so um, I think I reviewed the Google Pixel 3a um, a while ago, a couple a month ago or so. One of the things that when you ordered the Pixel at launch, you actually got, and you kept it for, I think it was 90 days, um, mm-hmm. you got a $100 credit. Um, at the same time that Amazon launched their Show 5, mm-hmm. Google ran a deal for a knocking for forty-five, fifty-five dollars off of the home hub, which I can't I can't figure it out. Is it the home hub or is it the nest hub? Or is it just um, the combine them and it's the home nub? Or it's I'm the telling home you, hub. man, I'm telling you, I'm gonna make this a thing. Um so with the hundred dollar credit and the the amount off the the home hub, I think it was down to $75. Mm. So I cashed in my hundred dollar store credit <laughs> and got myself a free home nub. Mm-hmm. Um, Thank you. It's pretty, it's pretty impressive. I actually like the kind of the clock screen. That's the, that's uh, I mean, you can pick from a couple different clocks. There's like the, the old flip style clock there's an analog clock there's a number of them but it's pretty cool the way that the camera on it um and there you can't use it for video conferencing i guess it's not really a camera it's more of a light sensor Mm -hmm. picks up the ambient light in the room and then auto adjusts the brightness and in a dark room it it makes it pretty darn dark so it's not going to blind you or keep you up at night um, the responsiveness of the Google Assistant is great. Um, I, it was interesting to, much like the Alexa-type devices, um, you use the Home app to set things up. Um, and because while I own an Android, multiple Android devices, it's not my necessarily daily driver, so I didn't have as many of the Home automation type stuff set up on there but as soon as i start started logging into the apps the home hub found the accounts and then i could control any of my lights i could see my cameras i could control numerous things the only thing obviously i can't control is my um ring doorbell or my ring home security which was kind of a bummer but I can use it to see all the cameras. I can use it to adjust any of my lights. The one thing I like about there is a little better than Amazon's, to be quite honest. Um, they have in their touchscreen menuing the ability to go in room by room mm-hmm. and see all of the accessible home equipment in that room and adjust lights. Um, they provide a very nice UI to... Um, dimming dimming lights or dimming lights up or down um turning things on or off um they did a very good job with the interface from a from a hey i don't want to use my voice i just want to touch the screen Mm -hmm. as well as the voice pieces um it also i liked the way they took you through the set like uh, how they do the setup and say, Hey, do you have any of these services? And they list them out. Mm-hmm. Um, and if you do, which ones do you want to add? Um, I thought was much easier than trying to figure out the Alexa skills portion. Oh, I didn't say, Hey, Oh, uh, that's true. No, no. I think, I think you can just say the A word. Oh, I think you're right. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So yeah. So from the A train perspective, mm-hmm. um, I feel like having to scroll through all those skills and try to search and pick and find between major manufacturers and third parties that may have built a skill for certain equipment. Um, I just found the Google um, setup a little easier, mm-hmm. which su- kind of surprised me. Um, but I will say that the list is much, much, much shorter of equipment that it is compatible with or that it ties into. So fortunately, when I purchased any of the, the stuff I purchased, I made sure that it was compatible with all three major vendors. Right. So no problems there. 
Oh, the other thing I thought it was interesting is it becomes a Chromecast endpoint. Really? Yeah, so I can cast to it. So I didn't. I I know I can cast YouTube, can, and I know I can say, "Hey, okay, you know who?" Yeah. Um, so so launch YouTube, but, can, but it becomes a castable endpoint, which I thought was super interesting. So I I, I mentioned off air that I'm kind of discovering more Google Home things that only make sense. Um, um, one of those that goes along with your thing, um, I realized that you know I have two Google Homes and a Chromecast here in the studio, right? Um, mm-hmm. I and a lot of times uh, I listen to the Spider Man uh, Into the Spider Verse soundtrack a lot, and one time I accidentally didn't say soundtrack, and it actually started playing it on the TV. Then I realized, <laughs> oh, all those movies I've been buying digitally, like the you know disc and digital, and put them in movies anywhere, and they're like on all the things mm-hmm. that includes Google Play movies. So yes, I've just been randomly asking Google Home to play Captain Marvel, Iron Man three. Uh, <laughs> you know, when you know, you know, um, movies anywhere. It was it was a couple months ago, I think. Added the Microsoft mm-hmm, mm-hmm. movies. Oh no! Oh no! Yeah, so uh, about a, Xbox too, about a week can... ago, I booted up my Xbox three hundred and sixty to see if those movies were there. Uh, they are. Um, only thing is, every special feature is an individual listing. Oh, nice. It is very bad. Um, <laughs> also, if you look in your um, Google, I'm sorry, your uh, Microsoft store on, on Windows 10, because I actually mm-hmm. um, reinstalled a, a fresh Windows 10 installation here and was checking stuff out that I had that belonged to that account. And it was, it, it's just as ugly in there, too. Like, here's here's blooper reel from Iron Man 3. It's, you know, it's it's bad. It's pretty bad. Um, but, uh, yeah, that, that, was, that was kind of a fun discovery there. That, that end... Um, calling up a podcast I'm listening to on my phone and telling it to jump, skip ahead to like 55 minutes because that's where I left off on my phone. And my phone's uh, Apple, so it's not gonna, <laughs> co- you know, it's not gonna, it's not gonna connect with that. And I was like, well, I'll just listen to the rest of the podcast in the studio on the whole thing. You know, it's kind of a nice, nice thing you can do. So yeah, um, you have to. We'll, we'll have to do an uh, an additional topic. So I have a Google Home. Mm-hmm. Um, it's sitting right here. Yeah, look at that. But but I haven't found a good use for it. I think we have a third, I, have, I think we have a third one somewhere. Just put it there, and then you can ask it things. You can Google search. That uh, that alone is strong because A Train and Siri don't know Jack. Don't know Jack. It's interesting. So somewhere around here, and now I really now I'm really interested in this just, whole theory. Just plug it in and start 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 Cause, voice cause, googling it, man. Because I ha- but I have one of these, and somewhere I have a Chromecast too. Mm. So I'm guessing the I two think- paired together, plugged into the TV behind me, could create kind of an interesting experience. Yeah, yeah. You can be you can be on the now, show and be like, "Hey, G Man, um, play uh, Iron Man 2. and it just like pops up behind you. <sighs> you know. You can do a this, lot of things. You you can just like you can just like 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 cue stuff. It'll be it'll be great. You know you you just have such a more dynamic setup over there. But now you got me really wondering like what did I do with that? I think I'm, I, it's the version two that's kind of like the circular. Yeah, yeah, we got one of those thing. It's um, not. I don't think it's the four K well, one. Well, I might but... have. I might have a version one. Actually, I might have a second version two hanging around too. I, I, I have a version have, one as well. I don't have enough HD TVs, and I don't have a wireless network at home. So it's like, what do I do with it? So, anyways, um, okay. So, so 